In this video, I'll be covering how to use multi-graph output. Multi-graph output allows you to take your graphs definitions that you've saved and be able to output them like a PowerPoint presentation or all at once, two graphs per page, things like that. So you don't have to go into graph pack, load a graph, view it, load the next graph, view it. You can just view them all at once. So the first step actually is to save some graph definitions. So I'm going to go to graph pack and time series. I'm going to develop a graph. So Let's say what I want to do is I want to look at uh, my TSSs. So I'm going to go to Influent, double click on it and bring TSS in. I'll go to Primary Effluent, choose my TSS there, go to Effluent, find my TSS there, click OK to bring that one across. Now I'm going to go to Overlay and put my Mixed Liquor Suspended Solids. Now I do an overlay because the mixed liquor is going to be up in the three to 4,000 range. All those other things on the graph are going to be down below 100. So this will put it on a separate y-axis. That's what the overlay does. So I click on Aeration Basin. My first parameter here is Mixed Liquor. And I'm going to go ahead and click View. And I've got a graph pulled up. And this is you know what I want it to look like. I can now customize it any way that I want. And then when I'm ready, I can go ahead and click Save. So this will save this definition for me. And I'm going to call it TSS Study. And I'll put it into my uh, default group here. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So that graph is now saved. And I can come back at a later time and click Load here and pull it up. But now, with multi-graph output, I don't have to go in and, like I said, load each graph. So let's say I want to output a series of graphs. I'm going to go to Graph Pack, Multi-Output. Here are all the graphs that I've saved in my system. And you notice TSS Study is there. So that's the one I just saved. So in this case, now maybe I want to look at BOD. So I'm going to look at BOD versus Flow. Uh, bring that graph across. I'm going to bring my BOD compliance graph, my BOD load compliance graph, and I've got a correlation graph. Notice this says COR. That's a correlation. A TS is a time series. So I've got a correlation graph that looks at my UVOS versus BOD on my influent. So I bring these four graphs in, and what I'm saying is I want to look at these four graphs all in a row. I also get to set the layout here in the lower left corner. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to do two graphs per page landscape. I'm going to send it to the screen. I can also e these as JPEGs straight out. I can export them as JPEGs, or I can just simply send them to the printer. Go ahead and click OK. And it brings these graphs up. So I see that first graph, my Influent BOD. TSS versus flow. I see my BOD compliance with my limits. So these are all graphs that I've saved. I zoom in, it makes it a little easier to see them. Click next. Here's my uh, BOD load against my two regulatory limits. And then here I see my correlation or scatter plot of my UVOS versus BOD. I can also take a look at graphs. I can clear this out and I can just look at a single graph and let's say I want to look at it over certain time periods. So I'm going to bring my Influent Flow Graph in twice and right here you'll notice this checkbox set date separately. What that means is I want to set the dates differently so I'm going to go back for the second graph and set it to September. I'll leave it at two graphs per page landscape and now what I have is the data for October and then right here is the data for September. I may want to look at data this way. It's a very nice way to look at data, different date range. You can do year over year, things like that using multi-graph output. Now once I have a good list of graphs and maybe I've set them in the order uh, that I want them in, all that kind of stuff, what I can do is let me clear that out and I'll do, let's say, uh, TSS Compliance and Influent Flow. And that's the order I want to see them in. And let's do uh, 
infiltration study with it. I can now say this is going to be three graphs per page portrait and I can save these settings. So it comes up and it says my graph list. I click OK and it saves the settings that I had in the order of the graphs so I can then pull up these settings later. Now I can pull these settings up in one of three ways. I can come in here and say load settings. Like I could say I want to look at my compliance graphs and it'll add all my compliance graphs in all at once so I don't have to go through and pick them. It also saved the fact that I wanted to do those graphs two per page landscape and I can then quickly output them. Now I can also, if I cancel out of here, I have set up a shortcut button here if I click output graphs so you can have shortcuts on your dashboard that will bring it up and here's the three graphs that I wanted one per page in this case and I can just go ahead and click OK and it's going to output those so here's my infiltration study if I click next it goes to my influent flow graph if I click next it goes to this three-dimensional graph that looks at my three flows versus each other so that's one way or another way that I can output my settings where I don't have to do so much work. And finally, with the GNR server, I'm able to schedule tasks. So I can schedule the output of these graphs and I can email them. So this is my uh, email daily graphs. I can go to schedule and I can say every day at. Uh, 301 in the morning, what do I want to do? And here I'm going to pull down my list and I've got generate multi-graph and right here it says which ones do you want to do? So I could say well I just set up my graph list, I want to send those out and I'm going to choose that I'm going to always do it for month to date. So every day I'm going to receive a month to date of those graphs. Now how do I want to output them? I can send it to the local disk which will create JPEGs just on your this computer that's running your GNR server. In this case I'm going to email them. I'm going to send them as JPEGs and I can send them to, I don't have anybody in my address book, so I'm going to send them to sdorner at hawk.com your graphs sir and click OK. So now at 3.01 in the morning it'll send out. I can have a list of users if I want to send this out and so you can automate the output of all these graphs kind of give people a daily update you know month to date, year to date, whatever date range you want to set for a series of graphs so that they're looking at it. They don't even have to you know log into WIMS to go pull up these graphs one by laboriously one. They can just simply look at their email every morning and uh, the graphs will be waiting for them. Thank you.